Staffing challenges in 2023. Hiring the best talent for a company's workforce is a difficult task many employers face. Many businesses invest significant resources in hiring top talents and upgrading their hiring strategies, but there is no guarantee of hiring the best candidates. Following a massive global disruption, organizations and their leaders are experiencing an extreme change in how we live and how employees work, view, and take on new opportunities. This has never been a better time to pause, reset, and change. In this episode, we will talk about the challenges faced in staffing in 2023. For more episodes, please subscribe and like our channel and press the bell icon for notifications. What was acceptable before the pandemic is now a hindrance in how we hire. Now, the hiring process is time-consuming and complex, and to get into a systematic environment, everyone must be on the same page. As a result, finding and retaining the right person for a specific role will always take work. To stay on top of the recruitment process, calculated strategies are required. Employers must arm themselves with knowledge of the process challenges. So what are the biggest staffing challenges going on? Here are some of the biggest challenges in 2023. Getting the right candidate for the role. Finding the appropriate candidate for a role is one of the prominent staffing challenges regardless of how many candidates apply. You may have over 100 applicants, but the chances of finding what you need are less if the skills or talent do not match the role requirement. So now, what are your options? The more specific you are about the role responsibilities and requirements, the better it is for everyone. Giving candidates specific questions that accurately reflect the role is a great way to address the concerns and clarity and clearly understand the candidate's capability. So also hiring managers should understand the role of setting asking the appropriate questions to interview the candidates. We know great talent exists, but the recruiters must sometimes look beyond the obvious. There are two qualities to overlook when reviewing a talent, a proactive mindset, as well as an opportunity orientation. In simple one, someone who works to solve a problem rather than avoid dealing with it and seeks out new opportunities instead of being afraid of the unknown. Not a flexible work schedule. We now do things differently. And it turns out to be among the biggest challenges in staffing. Offering flexibility is essential in organizations where employees can manage their workload from home. As a result of the pandemic, there has been a significant increase in the number of people offering to work. This entails either being able to work from home at any time or following a hybrid model, which includes set days in office and set days at home. Flexibility may take the form of flexi hours and flexi days for those who work in trades or hands-on industry, such as factory or warehouse environment, rather than a remote work option. A hybrid working arrangement is a good way to help retain employees for your company. With that said, consider how your organization can increase flexibility, including changes to the L&D strategy to allow employees to train from home. Increase in contract work. With the uncertain economic environment, employees may hesitate to make major career changes to poorly financial reasons. However, contract work will surely continue to be a requirement for employers. Instead of taking it as a staffing challenge, business can look to bring a specific skill set to finite projects while continuing to build agility and modernize for growth. In addition, with an increase in contract work, organizations will need to refine their onboarding process to allow employers to get up to speed quickly. But that's not it. Consider alumni program allowing organizations to stay in touch 
with workers after completing their contracts. By tapping past contractors for future work opportunities, businesses can onboard them even faster the next time and stay connected to in-demand skills. Bridge the skills gap. Another biggest staffing challenge is bridging the skills gap. Several recruiters believe that the nearing skills gap is their most difficult challenge. Simply put, there aren't enough qualified candidates to fill the available positions. And if you work in with the human resources, it is a nightmare or one of the biggest challenges in staffing. Recruitment wastes time and resources screening pointless applicant as multiple interviews will be there. And there again, there will be no use for them. On the other hand, there is a risk of hiring candidates who don't possess the necessary skills at the time they are hired. Rather than gradually advancing to the role and developing the necessary skills, they jump into senior roles without having that skill set. This comes to a terrible staffing challenge. Retaining employees in these positions become more difficult as the skill gap widens. Clear and concise job description will save you extra time in the long run. In addition, hiring managers should focus on the skills needed for the position and establish strictly prerequisites. Attracting good and qualified candidates. The best candidates are off the market and 75% of people won't accept a role in a company with bad reputation according to LinkedIn. However, good candidates are frequently approached to fill positions and are likely weighted multiple offers simultaneously. What exactly does this mean? First, the candidate recruitment relationship has flipped. Instead of candidates actively approaching companies, recruitment teams must now try to capture the candidate's attention. According to LinkedIn, 75% of recruiters admit that attracting the right candidate for the role is one of their biggest staffing challenges. Overcome that by building a strong brand. Connecting with a candidate already being pursued takes time and effort. Still, with a strong brand, potential candidates can envision themselves working for your company. This could be done through a distinct strong career page real life stories from current employees or clear about us page. As a result, when potential candidates begin their research or click through to what you have sent them, they will be able to see how your company differs from the competition. Along with a strong brand, it's critical to have a psychologically safe workplace and a positive, strong workplace culture, ensuring employee productivity while being connected. Whether workers can maintain productivity while working remotely again becomes challenging. And with that, how can you go beyond simply getting the job done to building higher value in your workforce? First, of course, the culture of your workplace will play a significant role in this. However, creating a culture within a hybrid workforce will necessitate strong effort from leadership teams. Modern leaders engage with their teams with empathy and transparency to build trust. We trust in turn contributes to creating a psychologically self environment, a critical component of a culture that encourages people to be themselves. Organizations must also focus on increasing employee engagement to keep employees motivated by emphasizing the value they bring to the organization. Furthermore, investing in team members' professional development and upskilling shows that their work is important to you and to the organization. Recruitment and talent acquisition will always be difficult. However, tomorrow is about opportunities. Overcome the staffing challenges in 2023 to position yourself for success. Planning allow you to effectively address unexpected challenges in staffing. In addition, during times of uncertainty, preparation can make your work environment more appealing to your employees. Feel free to seek the assistance or trained recruitment expert to assist you in planning for the upcoming year. If you want to attract talent and skills in 2023, solving the staffing challenges will help you 
future-proof your attraction and recruitment strategy, resulting in an engaged and motivated workforce supporting your vision. That's all for today's episode. If you have any questions about this episode, please feel free to write it in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and give this episode a thumbs up. It will allow the algorithm to promote our channel. Thank you for listening and I will see you in the next episode.